Guy pulls in my shop with a Cadillac, brand new. And one of the cars had a hood cap, big chunk of chrome on the hood. And he says, I want you to make my Fleetwood look like that. And from there, another era started. And it was chrome. No cars had chrome on them like this. Guys came in the shop and says, hey man, that's fly. Not only is it fly, that's super fly. I says, whoa, what the hell kind of terminology is this? This is new to me. Oh, super fly. The star of the movie drove a car. And the car that he drove was one that I had built. A 71 Eldorado convertible. Big hood cap, big headlights, bumper guards. I've already have them on the cars on the street, but now it's on the silver screen. I became the man who made Superfly cars. Corverado was a combo car. Not everybody wants a big automobile. No big cars. We don't want big cars in the United States anymore. So the big Cadillac just died. So I figured, well, I'll build my own Eldorado, but I'll make a small one. So I cut down an Eldorado, dropped it on a Corvette. So half Corvette and half Eldorado. Corverado. Shazam. <laughs> I'm your pusher, man. It's 2005, what happens? I'm getting phone calls for Superfly. Whether it's on an Eldorado, an old Eldorado, or possibly the new Escalades, we could fly one of them things out, make it look like an Abram tank or something. Mac Daddy, bling bling, whatever you want to put onto it, it's Superfly. King of the pimps, what can I say? Pimped out car, flashmobiles. There's a circle and